What's your opinion on whether Kathleen Stock should be allowed to participate in this debate or not? I mean, I think it's it's really important that we're here at a university. It's always been this university, this union, a place of free expression. And, um, you know, Kathleen Stock is not the most controversial person who has ever spoken here. And I'd be willing to bet a lot of money that she will not be the most controversial person who ever speaks here. Um, she represents a very real side of a very real debate that's been going on a lot in universities and in the general public. And I am... I'm dismayed by the attempts to tell an entire side of a debate, regardless of what you think about it, that they're not allowed to share their views. I think that's very dangerous in a, in a country like the UK, which has always prided itself on people having the right to say what they want. You're a university student. Is it a big topic of debate among students? Is this what students are talking about? There have been discussions, I think, prompted by this. Um, it's not something that we spend hours and hours debating over, um, but there's certainly been discussions and I think it's, um, you know, I'm here because I want to hear different perspectives. I want to understand what different people have to say about different things. And so um, even if, you know, people disagree with Kathleen Stock, I think to try and cancel her represents something that in my mind goes fundamentally against what university education and um, the union stands for, which is the right to hear what everyone has to say. And you personally, where do you sit on the trans rights debate? Um, in a sense, I'm not totally sure that's particularly important in some ways, because I think, I think this has been framed by lots of people as being a matter of pro-trans rights or anti-trans rights. Um, and I don't feel like I know I've researched enough of these issues to be able to come down firmly on one side or the other and say that I agree with everything. Um, I'm sympathetic to all points of view. I'm sympathetic to the fact that lots of people have very strong opinions on it. But for me, it's really a matter of, are we allowing this debate to happen in a way that we can come to a solution that's reasoned and compromised? Or are we just going to say, no, we're only going to have one side of the debate? And we see people saying, no, you can only hear one side of the debate. It generally doesn't end very well. Um, you, you end up with better solutions, more reasoned, more compromising, more sympathetic solutions when everyone gets to air their views and then you can strike down those views that you radically disagree with. So. There is parts of society that I think cancel culture, not allowing people to speak, censorship, it's all a bit woke. Do you think today's students have gotten more woke? Um, I think woke has become a very loaded term. Um, I understand why people object to Kathleen Stock, I really do. I think for lots of people her views are deeply challenging and, and stand against something that they feel very personally against. They feel, very person they feel personally attacked by her. And I, so I understand why there is an objection in the same way that I think there's many on the other side of the political aisle, shall we say, that would also object to many views expressed by lots of people. I think there is a growing sense that university students are perhaps less willing to listen to different narratives, although I'm well aware I've not been around for very long. I don't know how, how, how it was 50 years ago. I don't know whether there was the same emphasis on free expression, but for me, that's what today is. It's about hearing a view that whether I disagree with or not. I think it's very important that she's given the opportunity to speak. It's uh, probably the most important moral debate of our time, and I think it's really important that both sides of the argument are heard. What do you say then to your rest of the trans community at the university who feel deeply affronted by the fact that she's here? I think I can understand the, the hurt that this may cause, but as I say, it's important that the uh, debate is had and that people from both sides get their points across. And, you know, in most, as, as in all debates, the best side will win, I think. We'll come to a, a greater understanding of the morality of the question. Do you think cancel culture has become more prominent in modern age than what we've had before? Oh, definitely. That's, that's without question, I think. That's fairly obvious. And, um, but I, I also think that it's, uh, it's an easy excuse for some people to, to make and that they're being cancelled. It's probably just a symptom of a robust debate that people are offended on both sides. Do you think this is going to be the most challenging debate this university, university society has ever seen or not? I, I can recall there was a wartime one, wasn't it, about whether this whether this house would fight for king and country. And I, I imagine that's perhaps a, a, a slightly more uh, troubling and important debate than, than this. I think she should be here. I think, you know, the union's a place where 
Controversial people have always come to the union and I think it should be the free exchange of ideas. I think it's really important. And especially now, I mean, with the government putting in the protest bill, I think, you know, freedom of speech is more important than ever. And I think it's quite sad that, um, I mean, I come from the left, but the left doesn't seem to realise this because I, I feel like it's get, we're getting it from both sides. So it's a really difficult, I think it's a really difficult time to be in. Do you think this is the worst time that we've had sort of in modern history in relation to cancel culture when it comes to academics, when it comes to events like this? Well, I think, you know, the word cancel culture, it can mean a million things. So, I mean, I wouldn't say it's the worst time in history. I say it reflects a lot of history. I mean, it reminds me a bit of McCarthyism, really. So I think, you know, this thing isn't new. I don't think cancel culture is this new kind of thing. But my God, it's definitely, it is a really, really difficult time to to have ideas that are controversial, and especially on the left as well, because I think the left should be the home of the free, of free speech. But I don't think they seem. To, I don't think a lot of people seem to realise this. Do you ever find yourself, or your fellow university students, find yourselves moderating what you say because you fear that it could be seen as controversial and upsetting? I mean, massively. I mean, I I don't like upsetting people. It's just I'm a human being. I don't like doing that. But you definitely sometimes have to mind your words, especially at Oxford, because, I mean, I think, like, talking about sex and gender, for example, I think there is very much an orthodoxy. And sometimes, you know, when you bring out contradictions or questions, it, you know, it does bring you into the firing line. So that's really, it's really difficult to deal with, really difficult. Um, it's been called because uh, Kathleen Stock has been asked to speak at the union um, and she is speaking as a gender critical um, opponent, should we say. And this has been called because it is supposed to be a debating union and it is actually just her speaking. We are not against the freedom of speech. Everybody has the right to have their own opinion. Um, what we are worried about is that people are allowing people to speak who are talking about a part of the community who are already very much marginalised, very much um, subject to hate crime and this is not going to actually make it better. So we're here to support the trans community and for the trans community to understand that we are here to support them and that whatever happens at the union and whatever she says is not necessarily the opinion of everybody else and we are definitely here for the trans community. Do you think that trans people are being used in some sort of proxy culture war at the moment? I do rather feel that they are being made into pawns, yes, for some reason. And, you know, yes, everybody's allowed to have an opinion on these things, but you're talking about people's lives, and, you know, this is really the thing that people need to understand. It is people's lives you're talking about. Anything else you'd like to tell us? Um, Oxford Pride is on the 3rd of June, and we will obviously have people in our march, and they will be supporting the trans community.